In this tutorial, you'll learn about the lighting system in iClone 4. So to get into the lighting, go to Stage, then make sure you have Light selected. Notice right now I don't have any lights on except for one. That's the ambient light. Ambient light means that light comes from all directions. Ambient light is good for outside, like natural light. Even though it's a cloudy day, you can still see. That is due to ambient light. To change the brightness of the ambient light, just go to your Modify panel and then look for ambient light here. You can then increase it to be brighter, or you can decrease the ambient light and make your scene a little darker. Now I'm going to leave the ambient light low, so with that we can take a look at directional light. To look at directional light, first go to your scene manager. Underneath your directional and spotlight, make sure that you have light 1 and click it to turn it on. You can think of directional light like the sun. It all comes from one direction and is equally dispersed across the terrain. Now notice here you have a doodad that tells you the direction of the light. You can turn it on or off here on the scene manager. If you wish to change the direction of your light, you just use the rotate tool and you can rotate that line, that doodad, to create the different direction for your light. Now to demonstrate spotlight, I'm actually going to use a different light. As you can see, there are four lights for spotlight and directional light. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on light 02. And then I'm going to turn off light 01. Now notice for light 02, I have chosen it to be a spotlight. Now let's go ahead and find it by pressing home. And notice because my doodad is on, we can see the spotlight. But notice that the color is very dark. So let's go ahead and change it to a brighter color. Now, I have a character down here, and I want to light him with our spotlight. So I'm going to use the rotate tool, then I'm going to press Control q so I can turn on the doodad, and I'm going to rotate that light down to where it shines on our character. Let's go ahead and pan down and take a look. So now you can see our spotlight is shining down on our character. For intensity, we can increase the range for the light. The higher the number, the further the light will shine. The lower, the lower the distance it will shine. So let's keep it right about 1000 or so. Next I want to show you decay. Decay is the power of the light. So when you turn on decay, the light will slowly decay in strength as it moves further and further away from the light source. I'm just going to turn it back off so we can take a closer look at our light. Next you can change the angle. Notice if I make the angle we have a sharper point light and the larger it is, the wider the light source. Next we can change fall off. Notice if I change fall off to a higher setting, the edges of the light will become dimmer and dimmer. But if I change fall off to a lower number, you'll see that the edges are very sharp. Next I want to show you how a spotlight can look at our character. Notice now when I move my character around, I can move him away from the spotlight or into the spotlight. But if I tell my spotlight to look at my character by going to the modify panel, and then say look at, and then pick a target, and choose our character. Now anytime I move the character, you'll notice that the spotlight will change and follow him wherever he goes. It will continuously look at whichever direction he goes. Alright, now I'm going to turn off my spotlight, and I'm going to add in a point light. So let's just scroll down to our point lights, Notice we have four point lights just like we have four spotlights in directional. So I'm going to turn on our point light and notice that the doodad is also on so here's our point light and I can move it into position now. A point light means it's a source of light that emanates from one point but goes in all directions. So a point light is very good for say like setting up a lamp in your bedroom and having that as a point light to create the light for that room. Now a point light cannot look at a target like a spotlight can, but it can be linked to, to a target. So let's go ahead and link that to our character. Then if I click on my character and I move him around the scene, you'll notice that the point light will follow him. So you can imagine if my character was carrying a lamp and we use the point light as the light source for that lamp.
but we can also link spotlights to our characters or to props. For instance, if I have this character and he's holding a flashlight in his hand, first I can take the spotlight here, then choose link and have it linked to the pipe. And then I, using control Q, position that light, rotate it into position. Then I'm going to turn control Q off to turn off the gizmo. Then I'm going to turn off light 01. And I'm going to turn off the doodad for light 03. Now let's back up. So now you can see the flashlight is shining the light down on the ground. And as we tell our character to move forward, you'll notice that the light will move with him just like he's holding a flashlight because we've attached the spotlight to the flashlight. And that's the basics for lighting system for iClone 4.